Well, hello there, YouTube. My name is Will. I'm with the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel, and you are looking at a NASA website here. This is uh, the Mars Rover NASA.gov site, and this is Spirit. We're going to be looking at a picture from the Spirit panoramic camera. This is a very famous picture online. A lot of you have seen this, and I just wanted to take a, a good look at it myself because there's a couple other anomalies in this picture that I just noticed. And uh, so we're on Sol 513 from the panoramic camera, and you can I'll, I will put the link in the description so you don't have to do all this we're in the gust of crater and if you get that view full image or save it to your hard drive and then pull it up I've already done so you're gonna see that you get yourself the picture that's about a hundred percent right there the quality of this isn't great but right off the back let's take you to what looks like the humanoid head I just if you can see my little mouse there doing that okay let's uh, zoom us in let me pull over my little trackpad so I can use that. And uh, as you can see, hopefully right off the bat, that the humanoid skull is there. What's interesting about this is uh, you've got the two eyes, the the rounded, and you see the dark crevice there. So it's it seems like it's absolutely rounded into here. That nose feature. This is almost like science fiction movie, like how, you know, I could imagine what this face would look like, how it had that extra bone structure there, and what type of sinuses or breathing apparatuses they could have. Who knows how the air was there, how, if this was, you know, millions of years old, how these humanoids actually adapted through evolution on their planet, on Mars, like we have here. Um, other things about this, let me pull you up, let me see if I can make it look look a little bit more defined. Uh, it's pretty pretty good as it is. Let me sharpen it up a little bit for you. There you go. So you can really see it defined there. It's already pretty bright. So let me reset that. Let me pull back a little bit more and I was when I was looking at it a couple things caught my eye here. There's this stuff right over here. Just how it's kind of thrown about. Let me see if I can get this pulled up over here. Let me move this down a little bit here. So I had that right there. Just I thought that was interesting looking. And there were a couple more that to me that were really stood out. Where did they, let's see if they stand out now. This one right here, this rock, it almost looks like it's got a straight line going through it where it's been cut. Or actually this is looks like it's raised off of it. Um, over here there's a strange looking rock. Let me see if I can brighten it up if it actually helps with these. There we go. That does help a little bit. Let me give it a little bit of contrast. Just there we are. Here we go. So as you can see now, the edges of this, they look to be a lot whiter. Almost like these these two things here. Like like this should be flipped over on its side. And the, it, these would be two posts that would be holding it up. But let me pull back out. This to me looks like it's the remnants of some sort of bowl. See how curved it is and it's got the lip under it. And there's these right here. If you remember the eel shot, check out my last video a couple back about the Mars eel. These shapes here they are again. These these S patterns almost like live snakes or live something that's up there. And what's different about these black and white photos it's you know you it's it's in your mind's eye what you can make it out I'd love to see somebody try to take like that old technicolor and, and see what happens when you do it let me see if I can reset all what I've done and I, there was one other that I was interested in and I, I don't see it now it figures once I hit record I can't find it Oh, well, you know what? It was that one right there. It was the one I've already showed you. That rock right there, and this one over here. It's just, just for the same pictures to be kind of odd like that. Um, in the same picture as one of these, and that just looks like humanoid skull. So let me bring it up one more time. Really good for you to see. Who knows what type of humanoid or what kind of, you know, fangs? If you can see my hands now, I'm talking with my hands. What kind of like, uh, you know what that actually could have housed on somebody's face. Who, who really knows? Like I said, evolution is very different. Could be gills, something along the lines there. Um, but thank you guys for watching this. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And hit the subscribe button if it's your first time. If you come back, watch them. Hit that like button. Thank you guys for coming back. Much love. Stay safe. Stay fun. Take it easy.